I don't know what happened in camp. I will not let fundamentalism ruin your life. That's I fundamentalism. will not. Fundamentalism is thinking that girls are bad and that if you speak to them, you're a sinner. And that if you watch said. television, it's a waste of time because you should be learning Torah all day long, 24 hours be. a day. That right there is why, to me, That's you're not going up the escalator right now. You are going down into the rabbit hole of crazy fundamentals. Now that's a clip from Netflix's new reality series, My Unorthodox Life, which follows American fashion designer Julia Hart and her experience leaving the Jewish Orthodox community. Joining us to react, Rabbi Shmuley, founder of the World Value Network. Our panelists, Jennifer Massey and Scott Walker, are here with us as well, uh, and the rabbi will be joining us shortly here. So Scott Walker, I'll go to you. Um, Perhaps this series is many people's first exposure to the ultra-Orthodox Jewish community here. How do you think it paints the community, and do you think that could impact um, how people view it? Well, unfortunately, it's fairly negative. It's some of the pushback you see not only against Orthodox Jews here in the United States, but certainly overall sentiment against the state of Israel as well, just uh, not only for Orthodox Jews, but just in, in its entirety. And it's ironic because you don't see the same pushback against people of other faith, other than maybe uh, conservative Christians. But uh, there aren't similar shows uh, about Muslims or other faiths uh, because they would call that um, uh, somehow biased against Muslim individuals. No, we should respect people's faith. If they choose to be a part of it, that's their option. Uh, certainly, I've got a lot of good friends who are Orthodox Jews as well as uh, other Jewish uh, uh, areas there. And, the bottom line, though, is this is just part of an anti-Semitic trend that we see across America. I, I want to go to Rabbi Shmuley, if we can pull him up and bring him into this program here. Um, because, Rabbi, if you've been following along, first of all, can you hear me? Do we have the rabbi I can with hear us? you perfectly. Thank okay, you. Okay, wonderful. Okay, great. Just wanted to get that um, picture set. Uh, rabbi, I, I want to get your thoughts on what we heard from Scott Walker there. Again, sort of this negative portrayal of the Orthodox community within this series specifically in Netflix. I know it was one woman's journey out of the, the faith and, and the practice in which she did uh, the Orthodox uh, way. But how do you think this reflects on the overall community? Uh, the show is a total farce. It does not reflect accurately at all on the Orthodox Jewish way of life. It's a caricature. Uh, it's guilty of these terrible generalizations. What's her argument? She had a horrible experience in her marriage. I'm very sorry for that. You know, I'm, I'm a marriage counselor. Uh, she speaks about how Judaism, I don't want to, I know this is a family show, but is sexually repressed. It's so often that you go after sexual stereotypes when you want to um, condemn an ethnic group, but let's, everyone knows the truth. The Jewish community is world famous for its tight knit families, for its focus on education, for its focus on philanthropy. Our, our marriages are strong, thank God. The intimate nature of our marriages are exemplary. I wrote a book called Kosher Sex that was an international bestseller, sharing sexual advice from the Jewish faith for people of every ethnicity. And it was translated into 20 languages. This is nothing but exploitation. I'm currently on a family trip, as you can see. This is the exploitation of a family to deride Judaism. And as Governor Walker so accurately, so accurately, uh, sorry, so accurately said, it would never mm -hmm. be tolerated anywhere else. If we had a show about uh, a Muslim woman who took, takes off her hijab because she feels repressed, that might be her story. And, and I believe in religious openness and no coercion. It doesn't mean that Islam is repressive. It means that it's, it all comes down to how you practice it. Let's also recall, this is the second series in two years where Netflix was so unoriginal, they couldn't even come up with a, diddle, a different title other than unorthodox. Mm. This is the exact same name mm -hmm. as that horrible series last year that portrayed uh, Orthodox Jews in, in, in the series Unorthodox as knuckle-dragging Neanderthals. And if that doesn't exhibit anti-Jewish bias, nothing does. Mm. Okay. I, I want to get our panelists' take um, not only on the Netflix series, but also a move from a popular ice cream company here. Ben & Jerry is announcing that it will uh, end its sales of what they say, uh, ice cream, in the occupied Palestinian territory here. The Vermont-based creamery made the official statement on their website, writing, quote, we believe it is inconsistent with our values for Ben & Jerry's ice cream to be sold in occupied Palestinian territory. We also hear and recognize the concerns shared with us by our fans and trusted partners. Although Ben & Jerry's will no longer be sold in the OPT, we will stay in Israel through a different arrangement. We will share an update 
on this as soon as we're ready. Um, I'll go to Jennifer on this. Uh, your thoughts on this ice cream company becoming uh, politically involved? Yes, I am an ice cream expert. Mm. Um, ben and Jerry's always is on the wrong side of these types of issues. And as you said, they are going to uh, cut ties with their licensing partners there, but it will still be continued to be sold in Israel, which is really, they are capitalists wrapped in communist clothing. They are uh, anti-Semitic. There's no uh, other way to say it. This whole BDS movement does not, pr does not promote uh, peace and um, unity um, and coexistence for that matter. Um, the BDS founder himself has said that if Israel uh, creates a vaccine for the coronavirus. Um, his followers are allowed to take it. Um, he went to Tel Aviv University. Um, BDS movement is a farce. Um, the founder is absolutely asinine with his ideas and movement. They've gone after Ben and Jerry's for a decade now. They finally got to them, I guess. Um, all I have to say is, Hagen Dazs, the ball is in your court mm. and you're glorious. Mm. Uh, Rabbi Shmuley, have we heard from Israeli officials? Have they responded to this decision by Ben and Jerry's? Well, news reports say that Prime Minister Bennett has uh, spoken to the CEO of Unilever. Unilever is headquartered uh, near uh, our home, actually, in New Jersey. And I think that we're going to try and take public action against Unilever. Think about this for a moment. Is Ben & Jerry's being sold in Russia, which is occupying Crimea? Is it sold in Turkey, which is occupying uh, Cyprus, uh, an entire half of Cyprus? I could go on through all these lists of occupations, let alone the fact that Israel with Judea and Samaria, Judea and Samaria, which is called occupied, represents 80% of all biblical events that take place that shape the Jewish people, from the crowning of King David and King Saul to where the three patriarchs and four matriarchs are buried. To say it has no Jewish connection is, of course, absurd. The Bible's the most influential book ever published. So to say that this is an occupation, especially because Israel gained control over these lands in the defense of war in 1967, an annihilatory genocidal war that was launched against it. It has since tried everything to make peace with the Palestinians. Of course, Hamas is genocidal, calling for the extermination of the entire Jewish people. Right. They're calling for a second Holocaust. So I could go on. Yeah. But ben and Jerry yeah. suddenly throw themselves in the ring and say that they're not going to sell in, in these territories is blatantly anti-Semitic. It's blatantly prejudicial. It's blatantly bigoted. And I think the Jewish community really needs to respond. Yeah, always an educational moment when you join us on the program. Rabbi Shmuley, thank you so much thank for you. being with us. Hi, Emma Reckenberg here. If you like this video, there's a whole lot more to see on Newsmax TV. You can watch for free right here on our YouTube live stream and be the first one here each time our experts break down real news. Just hit that subscribe button, ring the bell icon, and stay with us on America's fastest growing cable news channel, Newsmax TV.